Hey guys, so I'm closing out my Anemone Appreciation Week with a video on what sea anemones are and why they're so important. Let's get into it. So when most people see sea anemones, they think that they're plants, but just like coral, they are also animals as well. So just like the coral and jellies, sea anemones are cnidarians as well. Most sea anemones are what we call sessile, and that means that they won't move. So most of them will attach at the base on some type of hard surface. You can even see some in some soft sediment, and you can also see some floating near the surface. I'm gonna make myself really small so you can see this. So this is how a sea anemone looks. So this is the basic anatomy of a sea anemone. It's like I took a sea anemone and then I just cut it in half so that you can see the whole inside. And so they have this oral disc at the top, which is where their mouth is, and it's surrounded by these tentacles. And so their body is called a column. And that's, you know, the, the long stocky part. But if you want to pause, please, so that you can see um, what all of these body parts are. Here's a really cool picture of a sea anemone's mouth. So this is what it looks like in the middle and that is their mouth. So sea anemones do have cnidocytes that are in their tentacles, which are stinging cells. So yes, they do sting. If you're wondering if they fall under the pretty, probably poisonous, they do, but technically they're more poisonous towards fish. There are only maybe like two sea anemones that are lethal to humans. Other than that, their stinging cells can't penetrate to our fingers, so we really don't feel it. It's their prey that feels it the most. Their tentacles can retract inside of their body cavity all the way as well. So cool. So sea anemones have three symbiotic relationships that are extremely important to them, especially the dinoflagellants and the zooxanthellae. Those two are extremely important to them. Yes, the anemone fish are important as well because they help them get food and keep clean, but the dinoflagellants and the zooxanthellae actually feed the sea anemones from a cellular level. Now the real question to answer is why are sea anemones so important? So sea anemones act as a natural water filtration system for the ocean, just like coral, but as well as a home and protection for other shrimp and fish. If we don't have sea anemones, then all of the species that depend on them will become vulnerable and they'll probably disappear. This is what I call the domino effect. Because of our pollution, overfishing and temperature changes, that is what's causing this domino effect. So this is the domino effect. So if we don't have the dinoflagellants and the zooxanthellae, then we don't have sea anemones and coral. We don't have them, we don't have the anemone fish. We don't have fish, then we don't have the big animals. We don't have the big animals. Well, we just don't have an ocean anymore. <laughs> we gotta do better. We made this mess, we need to clean up this mess. Let's do our part. I'm gonna give you guys three easy things that you can do from home so that you can help save our oceans. Thank you guys, I hope you learned something. Please follow and subscribe. Bye guys.